On the first day, it was too windy to go ashore. We couldn't believe it. We were right there. We could see the ice, but the catabatic winds were blowing down off the polar plateau, and, and they were easily strong enough to flip a zodiac. So we had to wait. There was a serious side to it. There was no guarantee at all that we were going to get to go ashore, and that was quite a worrying thought. But the next day, we woke up and there was sunshine and the winds had all abated. And we just, we went up to the bridge and we got this amazing news. The captain said we were actually going to be able to go ashore. We were going to get to cycle in Antarctica. So we're ready to go. We're just waiting for the tender now, which is being lowered as we speak. And we've got the bikes just here and we're just uh, very, very excited because we're going to be riding on that over there, which is the Antarctic continent. And this is continent number four. Bikes from Brook Farm to Antarctica. Here we go, riding in Antarctica. We've just tried cycling, but it's, it's a bit like trying to cycle in sand and, uh, and incredibly hard work. But we're up here now. Plan is to take the bikes up to the top of this hill where we're going to gun it down as fast as we can and see what happens. platform down there, we're going to lower that and then we're going to jump into the sea. It's absolutely freezing. Ben's petrified and uh, he's just psyching himself into us at the moment. Here he is. I don't want to go in. I was feeling all cosy. I just had a beer. We watched Back to the Future and then someone came in and said we've got to go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> Visiting Antarctica seemed to give the expedition the punch that it needed to convince another shipping company to let Jamie and Ben board the Ecuador, their second cargo ship, also at no cost, scheduled to steam across the Pacific to Chile. By then, they felt they could do anything, provided they asked enough people. One man at a port in New Zealand said that he had not heard of anyone hitching a ride on a container ship for 30 years. 